I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to free handle the most lethal scorpion species in the United States. All right, you ready? Here we go. One, two, three. That definitely gets your nerves going. There's an old saying that things go bump in the night, which usually refers to anything mysterious and more often than not, frightening. There it is, the desert millipede. 1,000 legs, awesome. Now imagine yourself out walking alone in the darkness of Arizona's Sonoran Desert. A wild place that comes alive in the dark with spiders, snakes, and the one creature that personally makes my skin crawl, the scorpion. Armed with a set of pinchers and a venom injecting stinger, they are about as creepy as nature gets. I love being out in the desert at night. The temperatures are so much cooler. Animals are moving all over the place, but it's a little creepy. I mean, I can see up ahead of us here with the flashlight, but as soon as these lights go off and the black lights come on, it becomes much more difficult to see anything other than the scorpions. Now the black light is just what you need for finding scorpions because the UV actually causes them to illuminate a bright yellowish green. Uh, what we want to do is kind of comb the edges of the wash, get up into some rock piles, and see if we can get our hands on one of these creepy crawlies. But what if I told you that these creatures, which most consider living nightmares, were actually more afraid of us than we should ever be of them? So tonight I'm going to prove that scorpions, despite being creepy, are not out there to get us. And in fact, really just want to be left alone. There we go. Right there, right there. Wow, look how quick that is. That is definitely a striped-tailed scorpion. The most common scorpion in the Sonoran Desert is the striped-tailed. Got him. Nice. <sighs> right, cool. Ooh boy, that makes you nervous. I'm back here toward the light. Oh boy, okay. That takes a lot of nerve to pick up a scorpion that small. Now, the sting from this specific scorpion, the striped tail, is no more potent than that of a honeybee. But even still, this is not something that you ever want to go out and try to pick up like you just saw me do. But they're so quick that they run all over the place, and I kind of figured that the only way I could get him up close for the camera was to actually pick him up. Now, what's really difficult about handling a scorpion this small is that when I tailed it, I had to actually grab the knuckle that's right where the tail meets the vesicle. Now the vesicle is what's holding all of the venom and then of course they have a stinger right on the end. Let me see if I can get him to walk up on this rock here. All right, you got your shot? I'm gonna let go, ready? Yep. One, two, three. Don't get too close, but to identify this little arachnid, just look for a series of dark stripes on the tail. My favorite part of any scorpion encounter is always the release. And with one species down, our search continued into the night. Giant Desert Harry, right here. Oh, wow. look at the size of that one. Wow, that is a big scorpion. I'm just gonna tail them. These ones are a lot easier to tail than the little ones. Got him. Awesome. Woo hoo hoo! Nice. Now this is the largest species of scorpion that we have in the United States and here in the Sonoran Desert. That is the Giant Desert Harry scorpion and he also has his dinner in his mouth. Look at that, he's eating a moth. Now the way to easily tell the giant desert hairy, apart from the other scorpions here in the Sonoran Desert, aside from how large they are, is they have all of these little hairs. See all those little hairs on the vesicle around the stinger? That's why they call them hairy. Now, scorpions, like all arachnids, have eight legs, and these ones up front here, the pedipalps with the pinchers on the end, that's actually just a modified set of legs that helps them hunt. Now, scorpions are perfectly designed for this environment, but they do have quite a few predators. Rodents will eat them, lizards will eat them. So a scorpion of this size is much easier for a predator to pick off than some of the smaller species. All right, let's get this guy back on his log so he can finish his moth dinner. So far, we've come across two different species of scorpions. But to see the nail biting conclusion, click on the next video to watch me free handle the most dangerous scorpion in America. What I'm gonna do now is gently get this guy onto my hand to prove that scorpions aren't out there just to sting you. 